everyone, I'm Christina and welcome to this fresh episode of Street Heaters. We have a lot of fast cars and fun stuff for you this week. From our studios here at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh, it's time to heat it up. Street Heaters, right here, right now, on Fox Sports Net. It's time to burn. This is Tracy. We're here at Nelson Ledges near Warren, Ohio. This is a two-mile racetrack. We're here to see Mini of Pittsburgh's sponsored driver, Mark Mailing. I'm here with Mark Mailing, Mini of Pittsburgh's and Mini USA's sponsored race driver. Mark, tell me a little bit about your car, how you got it ready for today's race. Well, today because of the conditions being cold and wet and rainy out there, we've uh, loosened up the sway bars and changed over to rain tires and uh, made some adjustments here and there, but we're looking pretty good. We're in the top two rows of the, the race today. We're in third position for the start, and we expect to do pretty well. Now, tell me a little bit about the racing conditions from today and yesterday's conditions. Do you think it's gonna play a little bit of a role in how you're gonna do today? Yeah, actually, because of the wet conditions, it's very, very slippery out there. It's like glass, and uh, we, like I said, we got on the second row today, and we're qualified second in class, third overall but uh, we expect to do pretty well because of being a front-wheel drive car. Well, I think you're going to do pretty well too, especially since this car is very light. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, this car is a, an ex-pro Grand Am Cup car, as you stated, and we're running it in an SCCA event. And uh, the car has been extremely lightened. Uh, it has a chrome molly cage in it. Uh, the engine modifications have been done to the top end and the head. and It has race wheels and a uh, fire suppression system and an Accu sump. And, uh, quite a few modifications to give you an idea of how light the car is. You can see how the door just kind of moves uh, like that and uh, it's a pretty light car. It should go pretty well today. Well on behalf of Mini of Pittsburgh we wish you the best today on today's race and good luck. Well thank you. We uh, hope to do very well. The race is about to start. Looks like we got some heavy competition here. Well, you just saw Mark Melling do his thing. He got second place. Second place, that's awesome. Well, it's still not first though. It's like, you know, first to lose. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that? Tell us, tell us how it happened. Tell us about everything. What happened out there on the track today? Well, it got a little dicey there for a while, but unfortunately uh, it was starting to mist at the beginning of the race. So we made a choice to go with rain tires and half the field went with dry tires. And unfortunately, Dry tires was the right answer and we were on reins, but uh, second in class, I don't know, probably about fifth or sixth overall, but it was a good race, very clean and uh, had a lot of fun out there and the Mini performed very well. Well, you were very close to getting first place, but maybe next time you'll do it, huh? Well, we've been there before, we'll be there again. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was great to talk with you and I really appreciate you giving us the time today uh, to talk even though you didn't get first place, but we still think you're number one. Well, thank you. We appreciate it and uh, it's great to have you guys out see an SCCA event and watch us run in the, in the not so nice rainy weather, but we, we really do run in all weather and uh, it makes a big difference. Well, that concludes it. Stay tuned for more Street Heaters.
I'm Kayla, and I'm here to bring you this week's Extreme Style segment, brought to you by Extreme Car and Truck. Today we're going to talk about remote car starters. I'm here with Tim from Extreme Car and Truck. Tim, why don't you tell me a little bit about the benefit of getting a remote car starter? Well, the biggest benefit, Kayla, is it's the convenience of not having to come out and start your car when it's freezing out. Um, start it up from in the house, about 10-15 minutes later when you're ready to go to work, your vehicle's warm. Uh, the defroster's on, the heater's on, and you're good to go. Okay, so what would you say the best brand is if you'd recommend a brand of a remote car starter? Um, here at Extreme we use Viper. Um, it's the best brand on the market. It offers the most functionality um, between the keyless entry, the remote start aspect. Um, it's a great line and it also offers a one mile range, which is good for if you work in a building or in a shopping center. It works no matter where you park your vehicle. That's really interesting. So how long does it take to get a remote car starter installed in your car shop? Normally, depending on the vehicle, it takes anywhere from an hour to two hours generally. Wow, so you get it back right away. That's awesome. Is it easy to do? It's very easy to operate, actually. Try it for yourself. Wow, that was really easy to do. Thanks so much for showing me this, Tim. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget to check us out each and every week on the Extreme Style segment. Make sure you visit our website at extremetruck.net. I'm Kayla, and I'll see you later. Mwah. Hi everybody, I'm Ranch Pratt with the United Rock Crawling and Off-Road Challenge. It's you rock We're a sanctioning body for the sport of rock crawling. We're here today at the SEMA Off-Road Proving Grounds, Indianapolis, Indiana, showing the world what it is that these rock crawlers can do. Showing the industry what it is we do, how the sport's progressing, and where we're going. Now the sport of rock crawling actually started years ago. People would four-wheel. Some people like mud, some people like rocks, and uh, as more and more people like the rocks, they started seeking out the rocks. So they'd head to the rocks of Moab, Utah, uh, Rubicon Trail in California, and the term rock crawling was coined. U Rock came in about 1999, and we realized that the spirit of competition was there in four wheeling, just like it is in any other sport. All the sport needed was some rules, some guidelines, and a way to score it. And that's what we did. U Rock came in, it's gone crazy ever since. The, uh, the media has been behind us. Fans have been growing, uh, auto manufacturers, tire manufacturers are all on board with the uh, off-road industry and especially rock crawling. Well, the off-road proving grounds here in Indianapolis gives you a taste of what rock crawling is. If you'd like to see real competition, really steep stuff, really tall stuff, be sure to check out the website at www.uroc.com, that's www.urock.com and find out all about it. You can see it, got the rules, you can check out your favorite teams, all kinds of good information there at urock.com.
Bueno. Tracy. And I'm Peter. Welcome to this week's 212 segment, sponsored by Fox Chapel Marine. Where we sell a lifestyle with style. Pittsburgh was voted most livable city in 2007, and one of these reasons is because we're so voter friendly. And Sea Ray has a boat that's friendly on the pocketbook. The sports series that Sea Ray has is available in sizes from 17 and a half up to 20 and a half feet. Same quality product that Sea Ray puts out in their larger lines at a discounted price. Full frame windshields, engine choices interior color choices, the endless list goes on and on. It has wakeboard tower accessible for the sport enthusiasts, and these are not budget busters. It is for the average family to be able to get out and enjoy the waterways around Pittsburgh. The nice thing about this sport series is you're not giving up any of the warranties that come with the larger Sea Ray boats. This has a lifetime haul warranty on it. One year, bumper to bumper basically, everything is covered on this boat. All Mercruiser products come with a two-year powertrain warranty. 
less hassle, less maintenance. It's all about enjoying. Boating is about fun, it's not about stress. And we try to help you in every aspect of that. The way these are packaged from Sea Ray, they include the trailer so you can travel to different waterways. Let alone Pittsburgh having the three rivers, within two hours of here, you've got a multitude of smaller lakes, uh, the Great Lakes, to go and enjoy these boats. They all come with a trailer, swing away tongue, uh, brakes, so it's safe and easy to take these and travel around with them. Another distinct advantage of a Sea Ray is its value. It holds its value better than anybody else in the industry. This helps you as you grow through the Sea Ray family, starting in the sports series and moving on up through the sun decks, through the cruisers. The values of those boats do not depreciate like anybody else out there. You're able to turn around, enjoy the boat that you have, and have confidence when you move into the next model that you're getting full value back out of that boat that you had just purchased. So if you're just getting into boating or have any questions, stop down and see us and visit us on the web at foxchapelmarine.com. And I'm Peter. Jeff Dugan, let's check out the hot rides here. They got a Cleveland, Ohio. Hot import nights, baby. Ecstasy. <laughs> 
rock ride. At a show, it's gonna rock ride. Here we go with the butters, boo, you know how we do. When they pump it in the juice, it's gonna rock ride. In the streets, it's gonna rock ride. At a show, it's gonna rock ride. Here we go with the butters, boo, you know how we do. In the streets, it's gonna rock ride. In the streets, it's gonna rock ride. In the streets, it's gonna rock ride. Here we go with the butters, boo, you know how we do. What's up, everybody? You know how we do it. Streetheaters.com, www.streetheaters.com. Make sure you check it out. We're out in Cleveland. Hot import nights, nice. Cleveland, Ohio. Checking out some hot rides. I'm here with my man, Aaron. Got a nice whip behind us. Aaron, why don't you tell me a little bit about this ride behind us? Uh, 86 GMC Safari. Got half-inch airline, 2,600 airbags. Got an engine compressor. Run 250 PSI. Get the front wheels off the ground. Eight TVs, sun visor TVs, 10-inch flip down. Pioneer 6600 flip up. Custom made Lambo doors that you will find nowhere else. My buddy built them for me in his garage. So, man, this marble paint job. It's so much. Six Memphis subs, a uh, Baby Bell amp, a thousand D. Got about 2,000 watts of power running to it. You seen it hopping, you seen it hitting. Definitely a tight ride. Now, who hooked this up for you guys? Uh, I'm up here with Memphis Car Audio, representing Memphis. So, they, they wanted to come up and, and demo the vehicle with Big Memphis Distributor, where we at. So, they wanted to bring a ride out. They got a website at all? Yeah, it's uh, memphiscaraudio.com, where you can see more pictures of the van at classacesounds.com. You heard of memphiscaraudio.com. You can check out pictures of classacesounds.com. My man here for Street Heaters. We'll be back. We're going to check out more rides. Stay tuned after this. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Kristen. I'm with my boy Raheem at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh. Now tell me a little bit about your bike here, Raheem. It's a Suzuki Jixxer 1300 Hayabusa. No, I got candy paint with silver flakes. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like this paint though. Uh, the paint job, it's pretty hot, it's pretty hot. Now tell me, since the weather's getting warmer, who do you tend to ride with? I pretty much ride with, you know, my friends, people I'm comfortable with, you know, pretty much anybody I know. And me, right? Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Now tell me, what's so special about this bike compared to other bikes in Pittsburgh? Well, it has all chrome, all the metal was dipped in chrome. And you don't pretty much see too many high boosters dipped in chrome like this one. Right, right. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> Come down to Ace Electronics. It's all the street heaters right now. Hey, everyone. That's it for today. Thanks so much for joining us this week. I can't wait to see you guys again, same place, same time, next week. I'm rolling out of here, but before I do, I just want to remind you to check out streetheaters.com. Lots of great stuff online. I'm taking one of these rides from Ace Electronics home with me tonight. See you on the streets.